time planners okay we are on again let me make sure it's working this time you know how internet love to give trouble so let's see if it works and leave itself like it's supposed to be let me send out NGs. It working, it working, it working. All right. Yes. You <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no technology must be you know what you right? Must must That's right. That's right. And you know I'm gonna take some more on so <laughs> Don't say that now, mommy. You go out. So good afternoon, everybody. This is the lovely Lana Young, and we call her Auntie Lance. What does we just call her again? Mom. I just call her mommy. I just call her mommy because she's really like a mommy, right? She gives you a lot of advice, and it is an honor to have her here to come and share some nuggets with you, lovely people, and. Give you some guidelines, especially as an established woman in business for so long. Yes, she has been in business very long. <laughs> so I am with you. <laughs> that is long. That long <laughs> compared to all these who now started that very long. So I'm going to give her the floor to tell us all about herself, what how long she has been in business, what's her business, and give us any little nuggets and success stories she has to give to help us as entrepreneurs especially women entrepreneurs and especially the fact to see about your kids and all this the dramas that we just have to find balance so let's give auntie Lauren to <laughs> hi good evening i am london young otherwise known as one now my business is supposedly closed Plain and simple as that, but it's much more than that. It is clothes, accessories, handbag, you name it. But um, to go back to the to, to my initial um, for when I started, it was plain and simple, just help my family. That's what it was, just to help my family and to be an assistant to my husband. And it started because whenever I shop and I, you know, go away and I shop for my kids, people always like the things that I bought and I decided, you know, something, you know, people give me money and tell me, buy this and make sure and buy that for me. And so that's when it started. And it has sustained me for the last 27 years. And it is, um, it's something that you have to pour and you have to love. Anything you start to do, anything you want to do, you have to love. And that is the, that to me is the key. I love what I do. <laughs> and when I'm shopping, I don't know hunger, sleepiness. What is that? I am never hungry, never sleepy. But you also have to have that self-discipline within yourself. Because I have seen people that started before me, even after I have, and have fallen by the wayside. One of the things is the discipline is to save and to be constructive with what you do. Wow. You know, you know, I believe that if you like something, you like they, they, they saying you never work a day in your life. And I always feel whenever I am shopping, I have people in my mind that I am looking for stuff for. And you know, I can see a body type. So it's the same thing I think that if anybody in, if, even if they want to do makeup or you want to do Whatever, you have to love what you do. Correct. Correct. You know that, that that to me, to me that that is what it is. Correct. I Correct. love. Yes, you have to have the love for it. <laughs> so true. Yes, yes, I, I I really do think so. So true. So true. So that will that will definitely be one of the biggest factors that you need to be a success. Have that love to carry you to push you. Whatever. Correct. 
Correct, correct, correct. So true, so true. So okay. if, if, if you really if you really don't like what you do, if you do something that you don't like it, you won't have that you know, the impetus to go forward. You won't want to do it because it's that uh, it's it just doesn't... a bringing it No, true. that's not true. What it is. That's not what it is. True, true, true. Yeah, and, it's, and you're right, it's not about just bringing in the dollars, putting in the passion into it. That passion, that passion is necessary. And it's true, you see it when, when you come, when you go by Auntie London to look for clothes, she does, mm, mm. now you're looking good. Mm -mm. <laughs> that's not for you. And she just be honest. You might, sometimes you might feel like, oh, she, she, but I like that. But why is she telling me things look good? No. Take home. <laughs> You know, like I said, I say to people, I don't have a sign outside. So my advertisement is you. So when people see you and they like what you have and they like how it look on you, that's when I go by referrals. Correct. People come to me because of wash I see Letitia and something, I like that. But what works for Letitia won't work for you. Correct, correct. I can always have something. I will always find something that will work for you. Correct. And give correct. you that sense of individuality. Yes, this looks good on me. Correct. If somebody else put it on, it wouldn't look good on them. Correct, correct, correct. Most definitely, because as you rightly say, you have to go by the body types. So yes, my body type important. wouldn't might be the same for somebody else. It will be no. totally different. So you have to learn to respect the body. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have to learn to respect the body. So like, okay, let me ask you. So in terms of a success habit, what will be a success habit or habits that you encourage yourself to do while you are a business owner? Or it might have been something that you might have wanted at that point in time, but over time you learn, oh yeah, this is something that I should put in place. Well, one of the things that I did, and I think it's the main thing that I did, is that, um, you know, like when we start, uh, we get into a business and you start to make money, you start to spend money more than you make. Correct. I, you know, you, you, you get a $2, you want to spend 3 No. I, in the early stages, I plowed every cent I had back into the business. Okay. That is what I did. Every cent. And you have to be disciplined. I keep saying that all the time. Yes. You must know this is what you need to do. You can't, oh gosh, I want to buy this thing. No. You have to have tunnel vision. This is what I want. I want this for my business and this is what I want. So I would reinvest basically all my money. And one of the things is that I used to work, eh? I used okay. to work and do this as a sideline okay. until I felt that, yes, I can stop working now and I resigned and mm -hmm. continued this full time. Okay, 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 okay. So you see? Everybody, you, you can do, you can do it. You can have your normal corporate job and still have your little side That's hustle. You, you could, you could do it. And how was it? A, how we, how, what was your biggest challenge trying to balance the corporate world plus the business and the family at the same time? Well, I have a supportive family. Right. I have to say that from the beginning, I have a supportive family, a very supportive husband. Where that is concerned and my girls well my children are my biggest customers <laughs> my children are my biggest customers <laughs> you know so that in itself if there was no managing with that you know i they know what i was doing and they were all hands-on with that and my husband wasn't even he's not even a shopper but he would go he will take me we will travel and he'll just drive and that's what it that's what it is you know, and if you don't have that support, you must have a support. Even if it's not your, your family, you'll have a friend. I have a friend that used, will support me just as well. But you must have that support. Yes. So have any right circle around you all the time. Yes. I have to say right. that. I have to say it's that. It's very you important. Know, so I don't feel like, you know, you see me, uh, you say, no, mommy, this is doing good. Or somebody will say, nah, you're crazy. I can't go in town and buy this thing. I can't go and get this and even I have to shop by you. So if you stop, how I go then? <laughs> and, and that, that gives that. that you know, that gives me the support that I need to know. Well, hey, I'm doing something right. Right. You know, people will, you know. Correct, correct, correct. And that and that will bring you to a very important question about leadership. Because just by what you say, 
you 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 lead by your example so you're showing people okay this is what i want this is what i want from you this is what i expect you to give me back when i when i give you my service because it's a service you are rendering in terms of buying clothes for them and tell them okay this is will look good for you and you, you're giving them that so that's why they will always come back to you all the time well i would think yes and um i think that when i do something like that i think that people understand and they believe and they trust in me that they think well look you're not going to show them or you're not going to lead them wrong in that we'll say I put on this and when I go out, it, it doesn't look well. So by that, and that is my personal life also. I try mm -hmm. to live, lead by example, how I live. It is how, that's what it is. So too for my clothes. And I feel that if some of my customers are very, um, what should I say, not, not, not big, but opulent people. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> And I think that um, most of the time that they feel that they can trust what I see and they can believe in what I see and know that when they put on stuff and they go outside, the people will always compliment them and they will always, you know, feel that, all right, yes, I look good. <laughs> and that's important, that look, that look and feel it. It is to me. It is, yes, it's true. That is, because you remember, you want, the, you want the customer to also feel comfortable and they will always come back to you. And then they write it yeah, well, one of the things that I do, and you would know that if something does not look good for me, I'm not selling you it. So I know the only way you'll get it is if you take it and go. But I am not <laughs> yeah, selling you something. Yeah, I'm not. If something doesn't look good, and I am, and for me to, to, to sell the thing is not the, the important thing. It's for you to look good. Right. You know, the clothes will sell itself because when you go out there, people will see it and they will say, well, all right. But I want you to look good and to feel comfortable within yourself. And that is that is the whole thing with me. I feel that if when you, you leave here and you put on something and you go, regardless of where you are and how somebody have a better shape than you or they look better than you, mm -mm, you mm -hmm. confident in you and how you look. Yes, you're, you're making a confident woman when she walk out. So I feel yeah, good I, in my lunch. <laughs> Which is important. You're feeling good. You're feeling good. <laughs> oh, what I, oh, you didn't answer the other part that I asked. How was the balance? How you manage the balance? Because at the point in time when the kids young, when you started the business or the video, let's say. Well, the girls were, the girls were like teenagers. Okay, and, okay. Um, that it for me it was easy it was easy okay. in that time like i say my children they were well behaved and they were they 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 they're good and like i said my husband was always yes. there for them so that we had that like if i'm shopping a family shop he will take the lead and my first my first girl she's as i used to call her mother put her right so she will always say you need she had to have to better get in line of that's it so i had a second mother so you know, <laughs> I had a deputy, so I didn't. I didn't have to worry. Yes, yes, we, we know about yes. the behavior. Up, you, you yes, want to be born, up to right? now. <laughs> up to now, the she still has that water. water, water. water. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we know the warden is the boss, definitely. So she used to definitely keep everybody in line. Hey, what? Hey, mommy, say this. For sure. For sure. <laughs> so, so like what, I said, I'm lucky in 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 terms of that because. With warden, I mean with um, my first daughter and my husband, I add backup. Correct, correct. And as you rightly say, backup is important. That support yes, it is. is really it is. biggest key. Biggest key. Yeah, because if you don't have that and you, 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 you're going through a struggle with your business and you don't have anybody to say, well, like when you go inside and you say, oh gosh, you know, so and so. All right, don't worry now. You have so and so, you can do so and so, and you have done this. And look how this person looked at this person. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. the general idea. When people, when you feel that, oh, God, it's not me alone. Right, right. So, like, right. And, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a family, yeah? yeah? Because you have friends. Yes, it doesn't necessarily have to be a family. But you do need someone to, to be there with you. You do need that, that um, strength. Correct. Correct. That strength is important. That strength in numbers, eh? <laughs> All the way. Mm. 
always have strength in numbers. Do you have any mistakes or what do you call it? Pitfalls that at the point in time you didn't think of another another way you could have done it, but at the point in time you just went with that flow and say, all right, let me just do it and see how it runs? No, because what I did is I put a lot of thought process into what I was going to do. Right. You know, I didn't just jump in because I was looking at, like I said, people would ask me to do things and they would always like the stuff that I bought for the children and they would like the stuff that I have. Mm -hmm. So I sat and I thought about it and I am saying, that's why I never left my job. Right. So, you know, I didn't say, well, all right, I could do this and leave my job and jump into it. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I continued for about 13 or 14 years and then I, I mean, after I started, and then I say, okay, I feel that this could, this I could do this without the job, all right. you know. And I could say, you know, all right, now nah, I could I could go this way, rather than saying, you know, this is a short thing. And no, this business is a short thing for me because right. it was it is what I love passionately. Left definitely, and you could see that because, as you rightly say. Your, your your clothes give you referral from other people, so you want that. So definitely, yeah. definitely that. And as you rightly say, the importance of that research before you start anything, because without you say yeah. research is important. Because if you don't do proper research, how you gonna know what is your target market, where you're going, how you're going, if what you're going to do makes sense in the first place to even start. <laughs> exactly, and you know the thing about it is some people they have a career that they don't like. Correct. They, they, they do, either they were trained to do it or, you know, sometimes their parents mm -hmm. wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer. And, but they're doing it, but they don't have the heart for it. You know what I mean? They don't have the heart for it, but they're just doing it just because. I'm going no. We all have something that you, 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 you're good at. Correct. All of us are good at it. It's just, it's just that some of us, we don't want to act on it because we're afraid to act on it because we think that yeah. we might fail. We feel that we're not going to be able to make it. Or, you know, people will either laugh at us or, you know, they will say, but what's she playing? No. <laughs> You're hitting some nails there, man, mommy. You're hitting some nails. <laughs> no, but the, it, is, it is what it is. True. It's really you know? true. It's something that you, you have to love and have the passion for it and go for it. True. True. I can, you, can, you can say it better than that. It's really, you really have to put your all into it, really and truly. Yeah. And that's what you keep saying. You're saying the same thing over and over. The all, your heart. Your heart. You really have to I, I have said that, um, you know, when I reach a certain age, I think I will just stop. Right. Because it's, and people say to me, stop. <laughs> so where are you going to get my clothes? So I had to go in town. So I have a friend say, I don't go in Porta Tom to buy clothes. No, I don't know anything about that. You know. Why, why do that? And I could go right here by love. No. no. I can't do that. So one person tell me that they will take me and they'll push me in a wheelchair and I'll just have to look at it and point at the thing and oh, I'll be all known names. But one person said <laughs> that they will bring it in front of my eyes and shake it. This girl is not once for yes and twice for no. So <laughs> I don't know how one when I do this stuff. <laughs> oh gosh, when well, you see that, I tell you how the how your customers really love you, no matter what. Jump high, jump low, making sure. Did I, did I say it was a customer? I didn't say that. I see it as a customer. Okay, okay. <laughs> Just check I it. see it as a customer, so I will leave it as okay. that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The most important thing is that you are loved, don't matter what kind of going all the way out to make sure, hey, okay, what's it? This is what we want, okay? okay I'll take that. <laughs> that is the passion you, as you're right, you keep saying your passion, your passion. What, what was your hardest decision you had was to make as a business owner? Um, I don't know that it was a hard decision, but it was the best decision. For me okay to leave my job okay 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 you know it, it it wasn't hard because when i think about it the pros and the cons 
it was the best decision that I made and the time that I made the decision because I knew that I would have to leave at some point in time. Right. You know, but it, it, it just came down to, to when. It you know, so it was the best decision. You know, right. because like I say to people, you know, when you, when it, when I, and this is not for everybody, yeah, but what I say that having a job is just, just over broke. J-O-B, just over broke. As soon as you stop working, two weeks after, three weeks after, that's it. When you work for yourself, yeah. So if you work for yourself because you know, and it are no sick leave, it are no time office, yeah, if you don't go to work today, I know you're working for you. Correct. So all of that, how do you do? Correct. Correct. That's and true. like I said, if you love what you do, you don't feel like you're working. Mm -hmm. I never feel like if I work it. Correct, correct. <laughs> you are hitting Sometimes so much I have points. five, six people here and I will attend to everybody and everybody will leave here satisfied. Hmm. I will attend to people and I will say, you hold on this. I have this for you. I can do this. You know, I have the passion for it. Yes, yes, yes. So you, you see, so, all right. So that alone, again, keep we in full free confirming the discipline and that passion it, it just tying and just keep tying yes. and going all the time all the time no matter what or where you see it would you have ever since you said you worked and you run the business would you have ever think about going full-fledged into the business if you could have redone it or you would have still maintained it just how you did it work do your corporate job and run the business until when you was ready to retire or ready to no and because I, I i felt that i i i did it when i was ready okay, okay. i did it when i was ready because i had right. said from the onset i even told them at the beginning of the year that um when we closed that would have been it because i knew that this was this year was 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 going to be it so the timing for me was perfect see the importance of timing again yeah the timing for me was perfect that is awesome because as you as you rightly say because and then people have to realize as well when you run a business is there's such a thing called risk so you always have to take that in consideration is this a is this the right move am i going to go the right way it's not that a matter of being negative or being afraid to take the jump but at least doing the research and weighing the pros and cons as you said early on to make sure when you make this jump is not something that you're going to lash back in your face and go oh gosh i should have not do that is this exactly. the right thing i should have done exactly because all the while that i was working and i was doing this job i was saving right yes i was saving and i was putting the money that i was making back into the job into the business Correct. And money that I would thought that I would, you know, spend to do this, that's what I was saving. So I knew that I had enough to sustain me for like about a year after. And I didn't need to have the thing, but it was able to sustain me for about a year after I had stopped working. In case that, you know, let me say things had fallen apart or, you know, you had you hit a glitch and you wasn't able to do so. Correct. I was Correct. able to, to maintain Correct. that. As especially you mentioned you would savings. We know people don't like to hear that, especially as entrepreneurs. So let me dive into that a little bit. How was, the, what was the um, strategy or formula you used to help you to maintain that savings and still be able to manage everything for the business and your personal life? Well, because I am, um, in the initial stages I was working, I would use separate. I okay. compartmentalize. The business money is either to go back into the business or to save. My What I was doing was to maintain and to help and to do whatever I could do. Because to me, the business money didn't exist. Right. That was for me to save and that was for me to put back into the business. So it, it, it was easy. You know, some people, they will get in, like I said before, and they will get in and they will say, all right, they figure they have a, a couple of dollars so that they could splurge or they could go somewhere or they could, mm -hmm. I could take a long vacation. No. No. It, you, like I say, it comes back to the discipline. You Correct. have to have that to say, look, I'm touching this, this is for this. So when you get that, 
you put that aside. You had a separate account so that you would be able to say, well, this is what you have accrued so that, for the right. business. And Jacob said, well, all right, this is what, you know. You see, y'all, I, I don't lie, right? She said the same thing. And this is a lady who has been in business long, really long, 27 years. And she said the same exact thing. Separating the money again, the importance of separating. Yeah. So you can actually separating. see it. And you know where, where your money is doing and where it goes. Yeah. And it makes sense for you. It makes sense for you so you can actually know how your business actually going and what impact is having on your life and in your business at the same time. Discipline, you see? Discipline. I just, I, I, I love it, you know. Mommy doesn't know how to bring some points home there, but... <laughs> nah, that is something that most people seem to think. You see, when you're working, and if you, 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 you're working for your own money, as we like mm -hmm. to say. I work in for my own money, so I could do this. Correct. That's when you have to put a harness on that money. Correct. And that's when you have to, you know, you have to steer, you have to put on the steering wheel on them dollars. Correct. Because, you know, when you're working for the money, you always say, well, you'll get paid next week or you'll get paid next right. month. <laughs> you can't that. do that. <laughs> and it's it so true. <laughs> and it, again, it all depends on how you you, you, you treat people and you treat your customers. It's you so know, you, yeah, you make them want to relive the experience. You want to come back again because I've had people come here and they stand by the door and they look around and they say, um, um, I see nothing I like now. I say, okay, come hold on a second. And I will go and by the time they leave here, they'll be two bags and they watch it. Me cut eye. And I say to them, I say, love, there's nothing here that I tell people all the time. I don't sell oxygen, neither do I sell water. So you don't have to have those two things. So you could leave. No, no, no. I ain't going to leave. I can't leave this. Now if I leave this, because one of the things I try not to do is to buy two and three of anything. Right. So when, if I feel if I come back, I wouldn't get this. And if I, if I leave this, I feel somebody, wash. have a friend come in <laughs> and be the same size. You know, you hear all of that. Correct. So, that is important, yeah, yeah, yep. And and then you have to you have a way of pull people in with your, with your, what you call it, your aura. Yes, I think we're not looking for your aura. Mommy have a way she just talk people in. <laughs> and I'm not lying. I'm not. <laughs> Mommy have a way she can talk people into things, and she does it very good. And somehow people just always open up to her. Because when you go to her, it's like, as I said earlier, it's literally like talking to a mommy. Literally feels like she gives you this warm feeling. God, mommy, you gotta get her. And she gives you, it's not just, you're not coming just to buy clothes. You're coming to also, you might end up getting some, a long list of advice that you should listen to. Like my friend Richard always says, this is not a store, this is a hub. Correct. He says that like, this is a hub. <laughs> it's like when you it's go when you come and you meet and you greet and you talk and make friends and people have been here and they meet people here and they, they become friends outside of the shop. Correct. You know, so Correct. he says all the time, he says it's a hub. Correct. You come here, it's not just for clothes. Correct. You come in line, you talk, we have, you know, so it is... Correct. You and know. it's your personality, it's your personality and the way how you greet people. You have that way, okay, yeah, I can really talk to her, she will give me a sign. <laughs> yeah, because I love yeah. people and I like, you know, I like people and I like to be, to think that people feel that they, they, they could talk to me and talk to me in confidence. So people have that, oh gosh, I have something to say, you know, but um, yeah. And you're always open. Just, and don't worry, eh? if you get a little buff, don't, don't feel bad. Eh? She will give you a little buff, but she will laugh at it after and she will hug you. But the, thing about <laughs> the thing about it, I say to people, if I am buff here, I am ready to keep. <laughs> oh, I am to keep. Trust me, if I buff here, I feel good. Because and my buff is not really a buff, but if I have to um, buff here, <laughs> tell yourself you're inside. <laughs> 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 well, well, I that I that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If I get both, you're good. I get both already, so I was in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, now you know. <laughs> now you know. 
you see, you learn something new every day. Eh? Oh gosh. All right, all right, mommy. I take my buffet. <laughs> Yeah. But it's a buffet love. And you know you think it's a buffet love because she always give give you guidance. For the short time that I have known mommy, she has given me a lot of advice. I was like, okay, I didn't think of it that way. Or oh, that that's the kind of she make you back and really sit on study ahead. Which is a saying my sister myself said and my mother always tell us, study ahead first before you do anything. And literally, <laughs> mommy that's really she's getting the back of your head. It's like no, I didn't study that, you know, I should really do that. That making sense. And she's that type of individual. So anytime you're walking and you're going by Auntie Lawrence to do anything, she will be, she will give you advice. And that is why I was really and truly honored that she was able to come today and say, hey, what? Yes, I, I, will, I will come. I will come and give advice. So if you all have any questions, anything that you need to ask to find out about how to maneuver, any um, entrepreneurial life and being a mother or doing a corporate job and being an entrepreneur, you can ask her any question. This is the forum, right? this is the place to ask. I ask some basic questions I know most people will be concerned about. So you all can ask her any questions, give any comments that you want to hear, anything that you need to hear. Oh, even where she's located as well. But she, um, mommy, you have any um Instagram page? No, mommy, have no Instagram page for the business. Yes, just my oh. business. Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> you know, like, you know, Nikki has been saying, and quite a few friends have been telling me that, you know, I need to go that way so that people, so that you're out there, so that right. people will see more, especially now with the, the, the pandemic now. People right. are not going much places and, and that type of thing. And I have yet to get into that. But um, I have been hesitant because for, for two, two reasons. One, like I say, the, I'm a technomoron. And two, I like hands-on. I like to see, I like people to come and see so that you're looking at it. Yes, I have to see what you, you know how the clothes fit you, what it Correct. looks like. Because I buy clothes based on people. Correct. So if I go and I see something, like sometimes I might need, you didn't even ask me for something. And I see something that looks like you, like I have my friend, Sandra says, but it's a while you tell me you see something that you buy for me. I say, because I ain't see nothing to buy for you. I ain't see nothing that look like you. <laughs> so I am not buying things to come and tell people, I buy this for you. No, if I ain't see something for you, Something you will see close and you will like it, but some things that will jump out at me and say, yes, this will look good on Leticia. Yes. You know? So for me to put things online and for people to look at it and for them to... Mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I have to see it. I have to see how it look on you. I have to see get that one-on-one. -on -one Correct. So that Correct. I can say, Correct. yes. Correct. You know? People and like to buy... You know, like I have a friend that does... She. Her, her colors done, so she's autumn. So I know exactly the colors that she would um get. I like to look at your complexion. I like to play up your assets and play down your liabilities. So if you have a nice boob, I will get thing. And if you, you know what I mean. Yes. So I try to get stuff for people that for individuals. Correct. And you only know that when you see them, as you're right. When I see, you. when I see you, you need to see, so you can actually see what you're looking. So, yeah, but we yeah. can encourage. Yes, you can do. No, way. you can't do no more shows anymore. Yes, and yes, look, people, she used to do shows, eh? Mom used to do fashion shows before, eh? She used to do fashion shows. Yeah, this thing is. It is, um, this is a pause. Yeah. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes, I'm hearing you. <laughs> right. It paused for a while. Oh, like somebody now saying, yes, you have serious skills in dressing people. I know I am one of them. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Yes, I do. I, I, I try. I, well, I mean, 
after 27 years, I can't say I'm trying anymore. No, no, no. It has no. been successful. You still see a Thank God. God. You, you, you will have Thank God. New but you have to try it. You have to you have to try and you have to keep trying. And I say to I say all the time I don't I don't like to buy clothes that is in style. Correct. I buy stylish clothes. Correct. I say that all the time. I buy stylish clothes so that you can buy some you can wear something, you have it for a while mm -hmm. and you pull it out and put it on and it look brand new second hand. Correct. Because you know it you can't say, Oh God, that was last year's style or that was year before we was wearing that year before. No. So, so and it, as you and all told me, it's, it's relevant, relevant all the time. Itself. Yeah, it is relevant all the time. You wear something and you could say, well, aha, uh -huh, I could put on that. I had this in the back of my cupboard, you know, I still had the tag on it. I could take all that and wear that. <laughs> and you're right in place. <laughs> so true. <laughs> you know, I've had people say that to me, girl, I pull out something. And people ask me where I get that. Yeah. And, and you have it hiding in the back of the cupboard in a long time. <laughs> Sometimes people just buy because they see something and they like it. Eh? So True. they don't have a place to go. But True. eventually, something and somewhere will turn up. True. That is so true. That is so true. That's when we're that's when we buying because of, of like. We just like it. <laughs> <laughs> Axie Warden. Yes. You know, she's famous. And you all live for the one who we call in the warden. We did a live with Nicola Young. That was earlier this year. That would have been in January. Yes, I think it's in January. We did that live. Yes, that this is Nicola Young. Yes. So you see where she get the strictness from. Okay, so I'm not lying. That is the boss in the water. Mommy is the boss for the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> She's boy and the boss. <laughs> I'm the guru. <laughs> and she's really the boss. Yes. She always behind you, always behind you, always pushing you. And they both do the same. Anybody have any questions you want to ask? Lana before she leaves. Because I'm sure she has to go and get ready to do something. You know? Yes, that's the next thing. She don't stay still. Mommy always busy. <laughs> With COVID? Hmm. You're not unbusy. Stay home, but you're still busy. You will find something to oh. do. <laughs> oh, yeah. For sure, I know mommy finding something to do. Yes. Thanks. So, if any, no one has any questions, I want to thank Lorna for coming in, taking off her busy schedule to be here with us today, and for sharing the lovely nuggets especially as being a well-established entrepreneur and helping us see the needs of the importance of, as she said, discipline, putting your heart in everything that you do and no matter what, making sure you put aside and see you that have that structure in place, even in your business, as when as it starts or even if it's long, as time goes by, you still maintain your structure. And of course, have fun with the whole thing because remember she's all about oh, yes. having fun. <laughs> oh yes, and I would I would also want to tell, especially women, that you know sometimes you get negative comments and you get you know don't let that let that be an aside. Use that to build you. Don't start with oh God, nobody ain't gonna like this or nobody. Mm -hmm. Use that. To show people, yes, I could do that. It can be done, and I will do it and show you that it can be done. All right. You know, now is not the time because people say you can't do this and you, you take people word for them. what people think of you is not your business. True. What people True. think of you and say about you is not your business. You keep what you know what you can do or you want to do and you do it and keep at it. True. You will you'll fall, but you'll get up and you'll dust yourself off and move on again. True. That is so true. <laughs> you never stay down on the ground, you always get up. You have oh to get no, up. no, no. You have to learn to get up. Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. I think we freeze again. Yes, mom, we freeze again. Yeah. Well, oh. yes, you know. <laughs> it's this, this internet well <laughs> yeah. So if anybody don't have any questions, I will again like to thank 
nuns for coming on and thank you for sharing with us and wish you a happy International Women's Day and thank you for taking your time and thank you so much for having me and thanks for the opportunity to be with you and to be with your, your um, thank customers you. and your thank, thank you so you much. Very much you're welcome bye bye